says, see me in bracket. He said, see me in bracket. Yo, I got you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so conflicted. I'm probably going to get a call from, like, next round. Well, you play Weedle, who's playing PM, so... Yep. Uh, now last time. Oh, he's just getting into it. All right, uh, Ozzy has is, is made his decision clear. I'm sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was so hyped too. So Stango control at the feet. I believe they played last tournament or tour two, two tournaments ago. Yeah. Yeah, and predictably it Stango took it handily. Yeah, it, it was like uh, Andrew started with. Yeah, it was strong. I think it was. Yeah, I strong remember. first stocks. He, he might have taken the first stock, or at least it was like even. But yes. Then for both games. Yeah. And, and then, then uh. Then Stanko turned it up. Yeah, and it was I think it was a three and a two. I don't know, something like that. Yep. Oh man. Oh. I really got to go back and watch your videos, man. Like I just I couldn't punish Peach today for anything. It was super sad. Like every time I got an opening, I like barely did anything with it. Like I was such I was in such a weird like only play neutral mode that I wasn't ready to switch to punish. Yeah, really, no, it's really right. So, so like, this I, lo is... I lost control of the feet. Ah. See, this is pretty even, but... No, not anymore. Never mind. <laughs> Past the 80% like... threshold. Yeah, that it was, it. but then he, he hasn't gotten hit for like... Ten. There we go. And not the best DI. Yeah, kind of. I think he might have been holding down. Nope. Yeah, he's gonna... Oh. Yeah, I was expecting him to angle that that hard. He's not quite to accept that. No. Man, I know you're not watching, but Rohit, you gotta step this up, man. Your Philly melee post recently have been super weak. He just, he just type, he just put up that someone in the scene doesn't know what cup, cup noodles are, cup ramen is, which well, is, is weird. But man, why you gotta put that in Philly melee? Yeah. All right, so uh, one, one tipper away. Yeah, this is a matchup like from Stango that we see pretty often, like him versus X Peach. Yep. One to prepare, you were, we're done. Yeah, it's usually the pretty same answer. He still had his jump, though. That was super good that he yeah. kept held on to that. Yeah, that was really smart there. So I, I never think of using it like that, because I have, like, the, when I'm playing Marth, I have, like, no approaching there rule. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, but that wasn't really an approach. It was smart, because if he did fair, he probably would have traded with something. So I mean, starts in an arc. Oh, man. Stango's punish game. Run off fair, gets punished yeah. for it. Double and did, defeat uh, is keeping this very... Very solid. Yeah, it's looking a little better than uh, last time, I believe. And he said to me, or he said yep. in a chat, ah, that sucks. Yep. That was just like a capitalization of, of uh, the yeah. positioning on the stage. Not what you can do there, I think. Yeah. It was just, he got taken advantage of when yeah. he was in a bad spot. At that percent, it's our spot you are. Can't even really be SDI'd or anything. Nice so, your peach. okay, to FD we go. I like the decision because you get the long juggles, but I don't know about it though. I like it as Fox because I have a uh, pretty decent spacing down once I'm once he's above me. Peach is way slower, obviously. Yeah. With Fox I just turn I like I'll finish the up bear string, turn my back, and then wave dash and walk to U tilt or bear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peach. Because uh, the, the Marth mix up, at least against Fox, is am I going to fair a back air that I'm going to predict and get up tilted, or am I going to come down and cover my aerial where I can get bared because I'm not ready to throw it, but I'll beat the up tilt? Mm. You know? That is the uh, that is the mix up. I just got away with him. I don't say got away, but he did another one of those snares. Now I get the Coming back on you and Weedle. Ah. So uh, do me solid. I need to do better against Peach today. So yeah. win, I'll watch you, and then I'll do the same thing in losers. Yep. I'll, I'll do my my best to emulate. I'll do my best Aussie impression. Oh, I'll, I'll just always go to Dreamland. Oh, he did a little slap dash there. I like that. So pretty close this first stock, but tipper forward air. Yep. Funny enough, I actually died at almost that exact same percent of my last set against Nagi. At 198, I got tipper forward air and died. Yeah. It was on Pokemon. Yeah. But uh, stock for stock. Oh, so as I was saying, uh, Andrew in a chat that I'm in, he said, you know what? I think I figured something out. There was one there's one crucial thing that I was missing in Marth Peach, and I think I figured it out. And he, he didn't say what it was, but uh, if he's using that thing, it's definitely putting in work for him, as he's a lot closer with Stango than he was a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But he kind of needs a string right now. He's down 90%. Oh! Oh! 
It's that's your character, one. man. Like I said the other week, I remember Kadana saying, like, that doesn't work against anyone else except Puff, but... Making it look, Peach, she can't double... I'd, I'd wager that she can smash out the air dodge, but... Yes, yes. I, no, I she would, definitely uh, can't jump out. No, no. Well, she could get it started, but she's not going anywhere. Yep. Yeah, so uh, much like a Falcon's down throw knee, something that's quasi-guaranteed, humanly rather do, or yeah, humanly is going to hit a lot. On task level, never will, but... Uh, yeah, I think he did try to do the smash out up uh, air dodge, but he accidentally got tap jump, which is hard to avoid. See, I, I know how to not do that because in PM I know how to glide toss. And, like, you know, I don't want to glide toss up in the air and waste my double jump. Yeah. So, like, you gotta. It's a tight time because you gotta start it and then instantly go in the direction you want if you want to save your jump. Yeah. Ooh, into Ooh. the turn up misses ah. the wave land on. He was doing that all last week, but. Yeah. Pretty, at least for him, innovative. So, like, you know, when you're at these sort of locals, you gotta go for those sort of things and, like, learn the game, yep. learn what to do because when Fair he needs plane. it. 83% didn't kill, but I mean, with with the Aussie stamp of approval or the the Aussie certified matchup, this is where it becomes basically unwinnable, right? That 80% mm -hmm. threshold. So, so you, you guys heard it here first. The uh, uh, yeah, tip rock tool. Ooh. Ooh, instant power shield into all. See, I know Stango does the trigger trick to be so good at power shield, but I'd really yeah. like to see him remove his spring <laughs> because it's. It's like I'm, I'm trying to. I have to like relearn to shield with R now. I think. Oh, so yeah, that is a that is a thing. Hid, a little hidden, hack hidden fact about a uh, Stango is that when he plugs in, he half presses one of his left trigger because he hates 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 light shielding. So if you ever see him shield, it will never be at least with the L button. It will never be a light shield. It will always be a full hard press, which also uh, promotes power yeah. shielding. Like I said, you only need. Uh, the only thing you need is one trigger with a soft press, if, assuming you're looking to do a soft press L cancel. And then there's a light shield applications. Yeah. Like platform, yeah. platform shenanigans, when platform I'm in the, Yeah, that. And when I'm in the corner, I like to put it up real quick, go to the ledge, ledge, ledge dash back on. Because yeah. for Marth, 